my channel. My name is Bella and today's video topic is bloating. Okay, so everyone goes through this. No matter if you're a girl, you're a guy, it doesn't matter. Like, you know, there's periods during the day even, not even during the week or the month. I know a lot of people would tell you, oh, sometimes during the month you feel bloated or during the week or whatever. I'm here to call BS as well on this topic because everybody can get bloated at any moment, okay? So uh, I'm here to tell you two things. The list of foods that will get you really bloated really fast and you need to calm down with eating them. And then the second thing is what I personally use to keep my belly from bloating. Right now I have a little bump, <laughs> but it's not a bloat bump, it's a baby bump. But anyway, I'm suffering with that on a daily basis, so I decided to make a video because um, I do have all the tricks that I need so I can get back to normal now. quickly. Maybe I decided to play now. Bebe. So, <laughs> he's like a little dog. I love him. So anyway, um, my number one advice, guys, one word, cruciferous, okay? Those foods can get you really bloated really fast. I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, I'm gonna go get me a kale juice. Okay, guess what? That is going to bloat you. So be careful. Um, you have a broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, any of these things, they will get you bloated. Next on the list. Okay, so guys, there's a lot of people out there that are intolerant to dairy. They continue to eat it and then they feel bloated and then they fart all freaking day, okay? Yes, I said fart. <laughs> okay, so the one thing that you could do to avoid that is actually, if you're really intolerant, you either could completely skip it or skip eating dairy, or you could take a pill called lactase. I don't believe in it, I don't like it, I don't like the fact that I have to take a pill to, to actually eat something. It's kind of weird and suspicious in a way, but a lot of people take it and it works for them and they continue to eat all the dairy they want. I am intolerant, I still do eat sometimes cheese and stuff, especially that now I'm pregnant, I do, but um, yeah, I don't really, I'm not usually a, a huge fan of getting bloated, so I try to avoid them at all costs, okay? Um, guys, again, just a quick reminder for me to keep making these videos, and the reason why I'm making these videos is because I'm pregnant and I have the time. Okay, I quit my job because it's super stressful, so I do have the time now that I'm working from home uh, to make these videos, okay? But it takes me time to make them, and it takes me effort to edit them, so if you guys really like my videos, please give me a thumbs up because otherwise I'll be like, okay, people don't like my videos and I'll stop making them. Okay, if you do really like my videos, subscribe, all right? On to the video. All right, so I'm gonna tell you guys now, cat fight. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys now what I actually take when it's too late and I'm already loaded, okay? First things first, okay? I start my day always, always, and I know this is kind of expensive for what it is right now, and they're not sponsoring me in any way, and I'm not even 100% sure that they're kosher, and you know guys, I'm extremely strict with kosher stuff, but this is absolutely needed, so I cannot really go without it, so um, that's why I recommend it, okay? Again, this is my recommendation, I'm not sponsored. And I know that it's expensive, but this is extremely important for the body. It's this product. It's called Align. It's prebiotic and probiotic. And this is typically found in yogurt and stuff like that. It helps your digestive system, uh, the restoration of it, and all that stuff. So if you look it up, look up prebiotics and probiotics, what they do to your body, and you will see. So basically, I wake up in the morning, I take two of these every single day of my life. Wow, that sounds like a lot. <laughs> but yeah, so I really believe in these. It helps you a lot. So it helps you digest the food in your system a little bit better. You know, things like that. So that will prevent the bloating uh, in the long run, basically on a daily basis. And this is something that I take, okay? Again, I am not sponsored. 
in any of these products, okay? So this is what I take because I have like some slight addiction, I would say, to uh, seltzer water or Perrier or whatever. Those sparkling waters, I love them, but they do bloat my stomach. Uh, not because of the bubbles, but because I over exaggerate with the, um, I don't know the actual term for it, but yeah, you can look it up. When you exaggerate with sparkling water, you're gonna get a heartburn and you're gonna get bloat. That's bad. I could have just avoided drinking that water, but I still do love it. So if you are like me and you love stuff that actually make you bloated, and you know, cause sometimes bloat comes with heartburn. This is really, really, really good, okay? It's called Alka-Seltzer. They are gummies. They look like this. I sometimes take a half, if you, see, if you can see inside the box. I have one piece that is chewed only the half because these can be very addictive and your body can get really used to it. So really, I don't recommend it unless you, you really, really desperately need it, which is usually my, you know, uh, story of my life. Right, and then there's another reason why you'll be really super bloated is because if you couldn't go to the bathroom, sometimes you're not drinking enough water, you're not like, or you ate like, let's say starting in the morning, you just ate something really thick on your belly, which is kind of like carby and starchy and hard to digest, or if you're eating a lot of proteins, sometimes you cannot go to the bathroom. So it's very, very, very important to take something that is natural, okay? Because these things tend to become a habit. Okay. I'm just showing you guys what kind of pills they are. Uh, as I said, I really hate this brand, but these are Senna laxative pills, okay? They're natural vegetable pills. Again, I'm not sure if this is kosher. I hate taking things that are not kosher because I don't want to take anything with pig in it. But again, um, you know, these are really, really, really good. But if you get like the CVS brand or the Walgreens brand, they're so much better, okay? Um, so that's something you want to keep in mind. And the last but not least is Again, and I mentioned it in all of my videos almost, the one thing that I really, really, really rely on is this uh, belt. I call it belt. It's not even a waist trainer, guys. This is not a waist trainer, okay? This is a waist cinch only. It just helps your belly not expand. But if you do have muscles and stuff like that, it's just gonna keep your belly warm because it's not as strong to actually cinch your waist or not since your waist it will still since your waist but it will not actually change your waist size or you know uh, physical appearance right in real life like realistically like when you remove it it's not like a corset basically but i use them a lot i love them a lot because they keep me as well from bloating okay i use them for so many reasons because first thing and like, that's something that people don't think about. When you eat too much food, you're gonna get bloated. So the reason why I have these on most often is because, okay, like, I know for sure if I'm gonna eat, sometimes I'm gonna eat mindlessly, okay? And if I do eat mindlessly, this, the, the waist trainer will feel like a little bit tight. And that's when I'm like, okay, I'm doing something wrong. So I stop myself and I think about it, I'm like, okay, I think I'm full, yeah, yeah, I'm full, right? So. Yeah, so that kind of keeps me in check, uh, as well as like if I wear it for a few hours before bedtime, by the time I remove it, I feel like my belly is super flat. I don't have any bloat or anything. I feel amazing. So that's another thing. It's not mandatory. It's not absolutely important or like, you know, uh, it's not a necessity, but it's a very good idea. Okay, guys. So these are my tips and tricks to keep you from being bloated. I hope you really, really do enjoy this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. If you already subscribed, thank you so much. You are the best. Thank you so much for liking my videos as well. Please keep up with my videos because I will be posting content like this all the time. So just stay tuned and uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do because otherwise I'm gonna stop making these videos because I really don't wanna make videos for nothing. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time and your support. So, bye.
I'll see you.